In this video, we are going to discuss uh, a product uh, called Geomagic Verify Viewer. Um, and the purpose of it is to work with some 3D scan data. Now, uh, for many projects where we're doing big buildings and structures and things like that, um, some of our customers um, need some information on those 3D scans. So, for example, if you look at this here, uh, this is a building that was scanned and it's just scan data so you can see there's areas missing it's not complete some areas couldn't um, couldn't be scanned and it was just a very quick scan because of time limitations um, this is not a CAD file um, so you can't take this back into any CAD software and really do anything with it this file is about 20 million triangles so it's a, a it could be either a, 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 an output from a scanner that's either a point cloud or a polygon. Point cloud is just that, it's just points, and polygons are triangles. So you convert the, the, the uh, points to polygons. The advantage of polygons is then you have a surface or a face so you can render it and, and you know look at it. But again, the problem with this data is it's not CAD, okay? So you can look at it, but it's not, it's not CAD features like planes. You know, this could be a plane, and this might be an arc or a radius, and, and so forth, right? And this would be perpendicular to that, and so forth. This is just dumb polygon data. So again, the problem is, is, is a customer may want us to go out and scan something like a building like this, um, but for us to go and then create CAD from this, um, theoretically, it could take weeks, and it takes very special software. Your traditional CAD software. Uh, cannot load a polygon model like this and do anything with it. It's merely a just a reference file. They can't even take measurements on it. They can't cut sections through it. They can't really do anything. So the problem becomes uh, for us to CAD model it could take weeks and you know there's a cost associated with that. And what they may really need is just key dimensions in certain uh, locations. So that's uh, where we give them this polygon file and then the uh, link to download this viewer. Now there's other viewers out there. You don't necessarily have to use this one. We're just going to show the Geomagic Verify viewer. Um, it's a free viewer and just kind of show you what it can do. So first thing you can do is obviously rotate and zoom and pan and you know move around and, and kind of look at the data. You know, and this, this data can be very accurate depending on you know the equipment. Uh, you use and, and the resolution you scan at. So, so you know, visually you can take a look at it. Um, you could have multiple multiple scans in here. You'd see them over here in this tree, uh, over on this side. Um, and then uh, another thing that people like to do quite often is uh, do what we call a view clip. Okay, and what you can do is just kind of clip away uh, parts of the building. So it's like a section cut. You know, so you can you can kind of uh, virtually trim it away um, just maybe to make it easier to, to look at something. So let's say we'll say, yeah, let's, let's clip it back to there. So now when we look into a certain area, you can see it's, it's, uh, it's clipped back, okay? And then the, the other most common thing people want to do is take measurements, okay? Uh, so you come under measure and you say, I want to measure a distance. Um, there's some different methods of measuring. Um, we'll um, we'll pick uh, point to point uh, and um, we'll align it to the uh, to the x-axis because um, if you just do free point and don't lock it down to any given axis, um, uh, so let's pick two points and uh, we'll pick a point you know on this face here and then we'll grab one over here. Oops, I don't think I grabbed the first one. Let's try that again. There we go. You know, depending on the size of these files, I kind of wait. There you go. So, you know, it's going to be locked in the x axis. If I don't lock it in an axis and I just put no alignment and pick a point and then pick over on this wall, you can, you can see it's not locked down. So, yes, I'll get a measurement, but typically you're trying to do a linear measurement. So, let's hit OK. OK. Now, if I go under the, the uh, measurements tab here, you can see my two measurements. and I'll take that first one or that second one and go ahead and just delete it. Okay, so um, you can cut sections and you can take measurements. You can also measure angles. I mean, you're just dealing with polygons here, so again, it's not real um, geometry in the sense that um, uh, again you have lines and arcs and planes. But let's let's come up in here 
let's let's say we want to measure this here and make sure it's 90 degrees or close to it. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. And what it's trying to do is grab the the vertex of a triangle or basically the edge of a triangle. Okay. And you know you can see depending on where I pick. Um, oh, let's do this. We want to do uh, three points. There we go. So we can measure that angle, and we can save this file too. So then anybody else can open it, and look at it. And so we can see the angle there. So, um, you know, that's the, the basics you can do with this um, because, again, you don't have real CAD geometry. Um, there are some basic measurement tools in here, radiuses, angles, distances. Um, if you have a, a closed model, you can get a volume in an area um, and, you know, do some other basic things. But it's very handy if you're just trying to get reference data. Uh, from scan data without having to have someone build CAD because again most CAD systems cannot accept this data and even if they can they can't model off it they can't take measurements and many times our customers just need basic measurements uh, for things like buildings and structures and so forth so uh, this is just what you can do with 3D scan data with a with a viewer that allow you to take measurements and again there's others out there and they may have more features than other things but this is one we like. It's just quick and, and easy to work with.